code explained says hi. So today we're going to create this functionality. So when I click on the new to do button, this uh, model will open up. So when I click somewhere else, so outside of this, the model will get closed. Also, when I click on this close button here, this X button, the model will get closed. Also, when I click on this plus icon here to create a new project, I need to open a model. So I'm going to use a model here and here. So I'm going to go and create a component called model that I can use whenever I want a model in my app. So let's go and do that. So to create our model, so our model is a functional component. So I'm just going to go and create a function called model. And then inside I'm going to return some JSX and then a model is just a dev, a box if you want, that has a background color set to black and some opacity 0.8. So we have here that with the class name called model. And then inside we have a container, a dev with the class name container. And then we're going to show something inside of that container, whatever you want. For example, a dev with hello world text. So in general, this will be children. So here I'm going to just show the children that I'm going to get as props. I'm using the structure in here. So I could use props then here props.children or I can just distract the props object and use the children directly. So to use our model, I'm just going to go and say model, this function here. And inside I'm going to put whatever I want to show inside the container. Now to show and hide our model, we're going to use some state. So a variable called show model, when it's set to true, we're going to show the model. When it's set to false, we're going to hide the model. And then whenever we want to change this show model, I'm going to use a function called set show model. So set show model to false, set show model to true. So here I'm going to use some conditional rendering. So I'm going to say return show model and return this GSX. So if you are not familiar with this, this is what it means. So in JavaScript, when you say, for example, F and then some statement here, for example, using the end operator. So if this is false, JavaScript doesn't need to know what's here. It's just going to skip that, just going to not run this expression at all. So if I say false, JavaScript doesn't have to go to the next one. But if it's true, JavaScript, we need to check the expression here to see if it's true or false. Now we're going to use this here. So if the show model here is false, JavaScript will not get to run this code here. So we don't want to show this. But if show model is true, then JavaScript will go and see this expression here. So run this code here. So show the model. Now the show model here and the set show model are going to be received using props. Now to use the model everywhere, I'm going to export default the model. Now let's go and use our model. So we're going to use our model, for example, inside our add new to do. So we're going to return some JSX inside a button. So when I click on this button here, I'm going to set show model to true to show the model. The model here, I'm going to call the model after importing it, of course, and then I'm going to put whatever I want to show inside the model. And then the model will take in two properties or actually three props, the show model, the set show model and the children. So the show model here equals show model and set show model. So I'm going to stick with the same names because I don't want to change them. I can use, for example, show equals show model. That's not going to make any issues. Now the show model and set show model are created using your state. So your state here is a hook in react. Your state will return an array where the first variable here is going to be set equal to false. And the next one is going to be a function. This function here is the only way to change the show model value. Now, use state is a hook, and a hook is just a special function. So, a special function that will hook you into React features. 
the React feature we want in this case, when we use use state, is the React state. So what is React state? So React state is where we store property values that belongs to the component. So what does this mean? So when I create show model, now this state here belongs to add new to do. So you might ask why we just don't go and create a variable using let and show model and set it directly to false. And then whenever I want to change it, for example, here, I'm just going to show show model equals true. That's true, but you're not going to get the whole features the react state will give you. So when you use react state, the show model here will belong to this component. And then whenever this show model here changes, it will cause our component to re-render. If you use a simple variable using let, then show model, when you change that model, it's not going to re-render our component. And we really need our component to re-render when our show model changes. Because whenever the show model changes from false to true, we need to re-render so to send the new value to our model so we can hide or show the model. So that's why we need to use the use state hook. Now let's talk about how to close our model. So I want to close the model when I click here. The question is, how do I know that I click here? So one way is to go and select using query selector our model element. But I'm not going to use this way here. I'm going to use ref. I'm not going to explain ref in this tutorial, maybe in a future tutorial. Then I'm going to use a hook by React called use ref. Don't confuse ref with the ref. So this ref here is to create a mutable object that has a property called current that will stick there all the life of your component. So this is not the same thing. This ref here is for example to select elements. I'm not gonna explain what it does actually or how it does that. But this ref here it's not this one here at all. Now this current here the value of this current here is going to be whatever you pass in to the use ref hook. We are not passing nothing here, so model ref that current now is undefined. But if I take the model ref now and put it here, our model ref that current now is going to be our element. So we just selected our element using use ref and ref. Now I'm going to go and add onClick events and run a function called close model. I'm going to go and create the function close model that takes in the E, the event or the click event. Now if I go and click here and run the console, E.target when I click here is going to be the model. So I clicked on the model and the model ref that current is going to be always our model element. So I'm going to check if the model that ref that current is e that target. So if I click on the model, then I'm going to set show model to false. For example, if I click here, the model ref that current will be always model, but the e that target in this case will be the container. So I'm not going to set show model to false when I click here. So that's how the close model works. I hope this is clear, thanks for you. Now let's go and see this in action. So this is how our app is looking so far. Now I'm gonna go and oh, go to the components folder and create a new uh, JS file called model. So I'm gonna go and import React because we're gonna use some JSX so then I'm going to create a function called modal and then return some JSX. So a dev with the class name container uh, modal and then inside a dev with the class name called container. And then inside I'm going to just uh, render any children that I receive using props. And then export my modal and a default export and then use some conditional rendering. So when show model is false, I'm going to sh show the model. I'm going to receive the show model 
uh, as a prop and then on click I'm gonna run a function called close model that takes in the click event as a variable and then I'm gonna check if the e dot target is the the model ref that current that we're gonna create in a moment so the I'm gonna use here the use ref uh, hook so I need to bring that to import the use ref then I'm gonna set the ref attribute here calls to our model ref object and then if this is true I'm gonna set show model uh, to false and this is gonna be received using props too now I'm gonna go into my add new pro add new to do and then I'm gonna create a button so to open the, the model called new to do now I'm gonna go and create uh, the show model state using the use state hook and the initial value is gonna be false I'm gonna bring in the use state now I'm gonna go and import the model now I'm gonna use our model here so it receives as props the show model and the set show model and also uh, the children for example dev that says hello world so I'm gonna keep that simple for now so now we can change this from false to true to show and hide our model now I'm gonna add a class name to this so I can style it first let's set this back to false now let's go and open our app that says this file so here I'm gonna add the styling for our add new to do component so that add new to do so I'm gonna set here the border bottom to one pixel solid and a EBB EB, EB, EB for the color now here I need to actually wrap this inside a dev with the class name button I'm gonna take this above or inside and I'm gonna remove the class name and let's go back and style this so I'm gonna style the button dev so I'm gonna add some padding then one RAM and then I'm gonna set the width and to 100% and the height for to 70 pixels now for the add button now for the button the actual button I'm gonna set the width and the height both equal to 100% then the border is gonna be set to none and the border radius is 3 pixels for the font size is going to be one RAM and the background is going to be uh, a, a blue color now the color is going to be white and then I'm going to set the font weight to bold and then the cursor to pointer now I'm going to go and add some style when I hover over my button so I'm gonna set the brightness to one pound one and I'm gonna use some transition to get there so with ease so when I hover over it we get a nice brightness on that button now when I click on this I wanna set the show model to true so if I go now and click on that you can see that hello world shows up so now I'm gonna go and style the model so our model will cover the whole uh, window so I'm gonna set the position to fix top to zero left to zero and then the width and height are both gonna be set to the view uh, whatever the viewport is so the width 
to 100 view width, the height to 100 view height. Now the background is going to be an RGBA, so black color with a 0 0.8 opacity. So now you can see that when I click on the model, we close the model. Now let's go and style our container. So the container must be positioned uh, at the center, not exactly the center, but uh, horizontally the center, but vertically I'm gonna uh, choose 25% from the top. So now if I go and see, you can see the hollow wall is almost in the center. Now I'm gonna transform and then translate my container by 50% to the left and 25 to the to the bottom. Just to center well our container. Now I'm gonna set the background to white for now, just for you to see that if I click inside, this doesn't close our model. Now I'm gonna go to here and add a button to close the model. It's gonna just call high. So then I'm gonna set the model here, the show model to false. Now I have to wrap this so inside anonymous function. Now if I go and click on hide, this hides the model. Now I made a mistake here, so I had to say solid. Now you can see the bottom border. So we hope you enjoyed this part. Don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends and do whatever you can do to help me, to support me. So see you in the next part and take care.